Flora and her son is a Irish film set in Dublin. It's about a young mother by the name of Flora and her son Max and their journeys and struggles with identity and growing up and emancipating themselves and uh, yeah, just finding who they are. Themes of family and identity. Um, I think, you know, it's it's very focused on the kind of interpersonal relationships between this group of people in a sort of a like, they're like a kind of a dysfunctional family in a way, you know, it's like Flora as the mother, her son Max and the tension in their relationship, uh, but also the relationship that they both have with um, Max's father, Ian, who's kind of estranged from Flora, but they sort of have a semi-functional relationship and how they, you know, share him. Um, and then, of course, you have this character, Jeff, who comes in, who's a guitar teacher from L.A., and he's doing Zoom lessons with Flora. And so, you know, it's about how all these people uh, kind of are relating to one another, basically, and each finding their identity and their kind of reasons for doing what they do i play ian uh who is flora's ex and she's max he's max's dad um and ian's a pretty funny character you know uh i don't think i'm playing him particularly earnestly but uh yeah you know he's like a guy who was in a band 10 years ago and he thought he was hot shit but um things didn't pan out I think the way that he had anticipated that they would so uh I think he's somebody whose kind of ego has taken a couple of knocks you know and maybe he wouldn't admit that to himself but he's struggling with his own identity and struggling to to find his reason for you know for being basically Flora is the central character of our film really and uh, she is a young Dublin woman uh, who's kind of struggling with the challenge of raising her son um, as a single mother. And, uh, you know, I think she just kind of has the world on top of her a little bit and she's trying to um, find an outlet for some of her frustrations and She's trying to find a way to connect with her son and trying to find a way to connect with herself, basically. Um, and she begins to explore all that and uh, find ways to do that through music. When we initially meet Ian, it's very clear that they have a really standoffish relationship with one another. Um, but I think that they're still kind of into one another in a way and they still there's still... A, an energy between the two of them you know um so that's really fun i think it comes across quite humorously actually um but as the film goes on i think ian kind of realizes what he has what he's kind of given up in flora and what what he's kind of let get away basically um but you know as as we journey through the movie uh i guess they each find a sort of a level in the relationship with one another and there's a kind of a peace and a sort of a mutual respect and affection and i think it comes through the music but also through their love of their son you know and that's something that they're always going to share whatever you know happens with their relationship with one another that's something that they'll always see eye to eye on is, is how they love this kid you know i think the way music is used in the film is sort of symbolic of its ability to help people to express things in a nonverbal way, you know, like, I don't know, I guess, you know, having, having music as an outlet can just be incredibly cathartic and it can be incredibly therapeutic for people. Um, and I think that's a big part of the message of the film. You know, I think for each of these characters, having the music and having the ability to, even if they can't play particularly well, just having the 
the ability to pick it up and to try with it um it sort of unlocks uh i don't know it just it it, it kind of helps them to i don't know it sounds really wanky but to kind of find themselves you know i mean it feels obviously intrinsically irish uh which i love um i also think it's a very contemporary irish story uh in a sort of a refreshing way you know it's nice to see a film about a young single mother who's like you know got this goal that she's striving for and um yeah that she's kind of like pulling people in her life together to help her do it even in the midst of all these complicated relationships that she has and in that sense it's a it's a really heartfelt movie um but in what feels like a kind of a unique way.